The Barn was Christine Olney's only cover. And that's just when it collapsed and I just was like, okay, now I don't know what to do. Like, yeah, like it was scary. She emerged to find her parents' property in ruin, knowing the cleanup from this tornado will not be quick. I don't even know. Someone thought probably a year just to pick everything up and start over. First priority, fixing the power lines. Next, clearing the debris. It was a scary night for families who saw their belongings scattered all across the county. And volunteers have been very generous so far, taking some of the debris, collecting it, and putting it into piles so it can be picked up. As she scaled the hilltops, Lori Wallace even found some family photos. They got beat up, but I think it'll make it. She hopes they'll land back in the right hands. It was very heartbreaking because I know that, you know, that might be the only picture that they have or it might be the only remembrance that they get. The force of the winds carried belongings for miles. I mean, there's Tupperware containers, there's clothes, there's shoes, there's anything. I got a checkbook. So, I mean, somebody's got to be missing a checkbook somewhere. And Santa. He was down here in the ditch, just pulled him up. All in a day's work for volunteer Chris Carricker as he brought scraps out of the woods. He knew this storm could use his help. It's left its mark, that's for sure. But the efforts by complete strangers makes the recovery a little bit easier for people like Christine Olney. Some people I don't know are helping us and giving us water and food and just cleaning up for us. It's been awesome. And some of the debris has been brought to the fire station just down the street here in Wheaton. You can see a large pile here behind me. The fire station calling for volunteers tomorrow morning. They want people to show up between 9 and 10 a.m. so they can get a head start tomorrow morning on getting some of the cleanup efforts underway as this is going to be months, uh, if not longer, to get everything back to normal here in Wheaton. Back to you. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Danny.